Next fight of the night, Chris Scott fighting in the red shorts, taking on David Furman. David Furman coming from uh, Tallahassee, Florida. Referee getting us started. Both guys come out, touch gloves, show sportsmanship. Chris, Chris Scott needs to get his hands up. First things first, David Furman's going to end up into the night quick. Chris shoots in for a takedown, got the body lock, and just lifts Furman up with brute strength there. Finishing right. with the outside leg that trip. trip. Nice. See if we can get it up. Oh, sits right into the mouth. That's a great way to start the fight for Chris Scott. Let's see if Furman can uh, get out of here. Let's see if he can escape this position and, and avoid any damage. You know, If not, it could be a, a long day for him here. Chris Scott, at this point, it's time to, to sit up and start raining some punches down. Chris Chaos Scott. And he's got the, got he's the, got tattoo, the tattoo to prove, to it. prove it. Chris has got great jiu-jitsu. Uh, he's a local Savannah guy. There he goes, rolling to his back. Looks like he's trying to lock the arm down. Let's see if he steps over the head here and goes for the arm bar, just like we called it. There we go, guys. Let's see if he ends the night here. Let's see if he can shortchange David Furman and Chris not give needs, him a chance to get anything going. Chris needs to extend his hips and yank on that arm. and, and He's he got to get that other here. leg over the head. He's going to have to switch the triangle. Yeah, Chris has got the option to switch his hips and, and try to finish with the yeah. triangle here. Furman lands in his guard. Referee doing the right thing, moving these guys back to the middle. Let's see if we can get the action started back. If Chris Scott can pick up with the momentum that they just left off. Referee doing a great job. David Furman starting inside Chris's guard. Let's see if Chris has got a uh, solid jiu-jitsu game to work with here. Doing a good job keeping David Furman's posture broken. David Furman raining down a little bit of body punches here. And this is what you need to do. You need to keep your opponent close when you're on the bottom so he doesn't have any range to, to throw down those punches. Yeah, he's doing a great job, Chris Scott is. Uh, he's got to. David Furman's got to sit up. He's got to try to pass the guard, get to a, a better position. He's trying to, you know, soften yeah. him up with some body shots and, you know. Kind of a slow pace now. We've, we've slowed down to you know, firm and escape. Them. Chris right over the head of the triangle. Yeah, he's locked it in. It's tight, guys. He's. I, I don't see Furman escaping this. I see this getting uh, being a finish here in a second with either Chris Furman tapping or. Chris needs to pull his head down into, into his tapping. stomach. Chris needs to pull David Furman's head down, and that'll cut off the breathing that much more than the triangle's already doing. Chris Scott's got it locked in tight. I, once again, I see David, David Furman either tapping or waking up on the mat here. Chris has got to get the arm across. The arm that he's got inside of, next to his body, he's got to got to get that arm across David Furman's neck. David Furman doing a good job doing exactly what he should. Sitting back, trying to trying to posture out of this triangle. Let's see if he can pop his head out of here. It's getting it, it's tight in there, guys. David tight. Furman's going to be running out of oxygen here pretty soon. Uh, David I'm, Furman's not letting on at all yeah, that I'm, this is bothering him. Yeah, I'm, I'm impressed that he's held on for this long, and he's going to posture up and strike. He's going to going to try to persuade Chris to uh, let go of that triangle with some strikes to the face here. Chris is starting to lose it. You see his foot is going past his calf now. It's not no longer uh, locked into the back of his knee. Yeah, all David Furman's got to do here is sit up, and, and he'll be out of this. I, I felt strongly that Chris Scott was going to finish this fight, but it's uh, it's lulled. It's you know he doesn't have the triangle locked anymore. David Furman doing a very good job of uh, strategically working his way out of this submission. And that's exactly what he did. He strategically worked his way out by movement and and punches and. Chris Scott's got to start thinking about options here. You know he's got to start thinking about where he can go from this triangle. David Furman decided that. Uh, Maybe if he punches this guy in the face, he'll let Oh, he switches to the arm bar and back to the triangle. He's got to get the legs locked up, though. He's got to get this thing pulled in tight. And Chris had that arm. He should have rolled out to the side, and he might have uh, been able to capitalize on that. Yeah, we're coming to the that. end of the round here. You know, we've, we've only got 10 seconds left. David Furman doing a great job escaping those submission attempts, escaping mount. It was a bad round for Furman. And Furman ends up in top with four seconds left in the round. He's raining down punches. He's not going to have time to finish. we got the, the beginning of round one is came to an end. Chris Scott seems like he gassed a little bit. I'll tell you, too, Chris did an excellent job from the bottom. We, we keep saying how bad it is to be on the bottom, but as far as being on the bottom, he did a really good job. I mean, he didn't get hit that much. He, he tried several submissions. Um, he tied uh, David Furman up. Did a good job. We got the Hooters girl uh, announcing the start of round two here. Coach John Blanken instructing Chris. He's just got to get busy. He's got to stay busy. He had a really good first round. He ended with a bad five seconds in there, but uh, he had a good first round. All he's got to do is keep the momentum going. 
referee getting ready to start the action off of round two. And here we go, guys. Back into the action. Another touch of gloves to show good sportsmanship. Chris Scott's got to get those hands up. David Furman looks exhausted. And so does Chris Scott. Yeah, they both, both of these look guys really look tight. like they, they and mm. Chris Scott throwing a throwing a high kick there, hoping to connect. David Furman just stepping out of the way. The high kick was a little low. Chris Hit Scott wings arms. that right hand, and David Furman he's Catches got him the in a arm. Choke. He could be in a uh, head and arm choke here. And Chris Catches Scott. Wow, a quick tap there. That's I, That was that was shocking, actually. Uh, it looks like uh, Chris just landed in that choke. And David Furman doing a great job pulling that one out. He uh, had a bad first round there. Official decision. And once again, a great job by both athletes. Chris Scott came out strong. Couldn't finish. 